Hello guys, hope you're really well. Today we're going to be talking transfers and we're going to be talking the goalkeeping position at Arsenal. Uh, specifically, their interest in David Raya of Brentford and what that means for Arsenal's incumbent senior goalkeepers. The number one, Aaron Ramsdale, and the number two, Matt Turner. Before we get into that, thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos on the channel. Hugely appreciated. And thank you to everyone who's subscribed. We are now inching closer to that magical... Emirates Stadium capacity, 60,000 subscriber mark. Um, when we get there, I don't know what, I guess I'll sort of hire the stadium uh, and we can all have a party and there'll be a seat for all of you. Don't take that as a promise because I gather hiring the Emirates Stadium can be quite expensive. Um, so as I say, we're going to be talking about David Raya today. David Ornstein uh, broke the story of Arsenal's interest in David Raya this summer. To be honest, uh, Arsenal have a long, long, long-term interest in David Raya. As people who've followed and read my work for years will know, um, it stems principally from Iñaki Kanya, the Arsenal goalkeeping coach. David Raya is kind of his protégé and Kanya his mentor. Kanya was heavily involved in the deal which took Raya from Blackburn to Brentford. Um, they've worked together, of course, at Brentford. Uh, and they've maintained a positive relationship since then. And pretty much every time Arsenal have been in the market for a goalkeeper or looking at the goalkeeper position, David Raya has been on the list, has been considered. And Arsenal have tried uh, to sign him several times previously from Brentford, all to no avail. The situation this summer is that Raya has 12 months left on his contract. Um, and so Brentford ideally would like to sell him. However, there is a hefty price tag against him, £40 million. It was too rich for Spurs' blood. They've walked away. Bayern Munich are interested. Because of their interest in Harry Kane, that would probably be a loan, which Brentford would be open to on the condition that David Raya signs a new contract with Brentford. Uh, and that might be you know, easier said than done. He has, it's worth saying, been linked with moves away from the club before and ended up signing a new contract. But at this point in the window, at this point in the summer, uh, that's not something he's particularly keen to do. So it leaves Brentford in a, a tricky position and Arsenal, obviously aware of the situation, they've got this long-term interest in the player, are now sort of looking at, could a deal be done? Now, there are a lot of moving pieces here. Um, I don't think Arsenal's interest guarantees a deal happening by any stretch of the imagination. The first thing to consider here is the money. It's a lot of money that Brentford want and Arsenal have spent a vast amount already in this window and not recouped a great deal. You speak to anyone around Arsenal, they say the priority right now is to sell players. And one imagines that unless they do that, it may be difficult for hit to hit the kind of numbers that Brentford would ask for David Raya. And on top of that, you would have to say maybe goalkeeper is not the most pressing priority in terms of uh, you know requiring an upgrade at this point in time. So there's a financial consideration to that decision. There's also the question of Arsenal's existing goalkeepers. Um, so we know some of the younger ones are likely to go. Arsenal would like to sell Arthur Okonkwo. I think they intend to loan Carl Hein out. But in terms of senior goalkeepers, the first choice too, you've got Aaron Ramsdale and Matt Turner. Aaron Ramsdale, obviously the number one, signed a new long-term contract on a number one salary as recently as the spring. I think it was May when it actually got done. And Matt Turner's had a very good summer with the USA. Obviously not been part of the pre-season tour because he's been on a break. But that is another factor to consider. So I think any move for Raya would be contingent on Turner going. Uh, there has been some interest from Nottingham Forest. Obviously they would like to sign Dean Henderson, uh, who they had on loan last summer, last season rather, from Manchester United. There was a period of time where it looked like Henderson might have a chance of being the number one at United before they brought in Onana. And in that period of time, Forrest began exploring deals for other goalkeepers, one of whom was Matt Turner. Now, Henderson, it seems, is going to be back on the market again. For the noises Forrest are making, they'd like to bring in multiple goalkeepers. Would Turner be willing to go to Nottingham Forrest without a guarantee of being a number one? I'm not so sure. So that's a really interesting one to look at. I feel like if Turner stays it's going to be very difficult for Arsenal to bring Raya in. Um, there's got to be a move for him. Brighton were interested uh, earlier in the summer, but ultimately they went for a young Belgian goalkeeper instead. He's got to have a destination. He's got to have somewhere to go. And while he would like to play more first-team football and protect his USA place, I don't see him going somewhere where he's not guaranteed to play. So 
The other thing to say about goalkeeper deals is that they are a little bit different from outfielder deals. You know, if you want an extra defender, ultimately, if you've already got eight defenders on the books, you can kind of have a ninth. If you want an extra attacker, a third or fourth striker, you can do it. If you want a ninth or tenth midfielder, you can do it. By and large, goalkeeper transfers happen when there is a vacancy. You know, it is really a question of one in, one out, because those registration spots in the squad are pretty precious, and I don't think clubs give them away too easily. So for Arsenal to bring Raya in would probably require one of these guys to go, and it would be Matt Turner. Um, So that is a bit of a barrier, potentially, to any deal. Goalkeeper recruitment is different too, and... While a lot of Arsenal's recruitment has been kind of data-led or had heavy influence from the scouting team, the goalkeeper position is slightly different. The goalkeeper coach, in this case in Yaki Kanya, but to be honest, this is kind of true across a lot of uh, clubs. The goalkeeper coach has kind of an outsized influence on goalkeeper recruitment. And his opinion uh, carries a lot of weight in these discussions. And I think given the history, everything we've discussed, we can be pretty sure that... Inaki Kanye will have had a say in saying, look, if we can bring a goalkeeper in this summer, I'd like it to be David Raya. Um, as long as Inaki's at Arsenal, Arsenal will have an interest in the player. I think that's really true. Now, there's no doubt that David Raya is an excellent goalkeeper. Had a brilliant season for Brentford last season and the year before. Very good with his feet, very good distribution with his throw as well, good shot stopper. There's a lot to like about David Raya. And one of the problems that Arsenal encountered last season is that there was such a stylistic difference between Aaron Ramsdale and Matt Turner that when one was out uh, it felt like we were almost required to play a different style we certainly didn't look as comfortable at the back. Bringing David Ryan would solve that problem because in terms of style he and Aaron Ramsdale are much 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 closer and bear in mind we're going into a season where we're going to have Premier League games and Champions League games and one of the big talking points has been well who's going to get those European games because historically Arsenal have kind of given the European games to the second choice goalkeeper. But with the Champions League being a prestige competition, it would feel a little bit odd to give those matches to Matt Turner. If you had two goalkeepers of the calibre of Ramsdale and Raya, you could use one in the Champions League and one in the Premier League, not overload either, and not feel there was a significant drop off in quality. Who knows? Potentially, that is a, you know, a consideration for Edu and Mikel Arteta at this point in time. It would be a very ambitious move. There's no doubt about that. I mean, to bring in a player who you don't desperately need, but who does strengthen a position, wow, that's a sign of a club with a lot of ambition, who are really trying to drive high standards and trying to create competition all over the pitch, even in areas where traditionally maybe there is less competition, where there is more of a clear hierarchy in terms of position. I I think that you know, that's the kind of thinking I'd like to see applied to the number nine spot, for example. To see it a goalkeeper, I mean, it would be bold, but it is also ambitious and highly unusual. And maybe there's a reason why, because a lot of times it doesn't prove to be compatible in the long term. Think back in recent Arsenal history, we had periods where we had, um, say, Petr Cech and Bern Leno both within the squad. That didn't prove sustainable. Burned Leno and Emmy Martinez when he broke through in the same squad. That lasted a matter of months. Burned Leno and Aaron Ramsdale. Um, You know, Leno stayed for one season, lost his place and then ultimately went. I do feel that if you bring in David Raya alongside Aaron Ramsdale, in the long term, one of those players is going to want to play all the games. I think maybe you get a season out of it maybe two at a push, maybe 18 months. But at the end of that season, people want to sit down and they want to know, am I the number one? Am I going to get guaranteed game time? Particularly in the case of someone like Ramsdale, who's got his international future to think of. He's being talked of as a potential England number one. You know, he cannot afford to not play regularly at this point in his career. Uh, even though he is you know, quite a few years younger than David Rye, I believe. Rye's, I think, 27. Um... What will Arsenal say to David Raya? It's a fascinating one because if he goes to Bayern Munich, he's probably the number one. Manuel Neuer still unavailable there. Um, You know, goes straight into the team. If he arrives at Arsenal, I don't think he does go straight into the team. He probably gets a similar sort of pep talk to the one they gave Aaron Ramsdale when he arrived. You know, you're coming in as a number two, but you will get your chance. It is a meritocracy and we believe you're good enough to be the number one. 
And I suppose what Raya will have going for him is that he's got a good relationship with the goalkeeper coach. And just as they have a significant view on recruitment in terms of uh, you know bringing goalkeepers into the club, they also have a, a significant say in terms of who starts games, who plays games. You know that conversation with the manager will take place. So Raya will feel he's got a fair shot at ultimately being the number one, and maybe he'll be told, "Look, you're going to get those European games." It, it's going to be really interesting to see if all the pieces do move and he does arrive. I do have to think that in the long term, Raya and Ramsdale, although they'd make Arsenal very, very strong. I mean, who in the Premier League has two goalkeepers of that calibre on the books? Well, there's a reason they don't. And it's because ultimately it's very, very hard to keep two players of that calibre happy. Um, Goalkeepers want to play. They don't want to sit on the bench. And I actually think regular game time is quite important to all players, but almost even more so in that position, your relationship with your defenders, Um, feeling sharp, feeling confident. You take that away from a goalkeeper, it's hard for them to get it back in the space of one game. And we've seen that. We've seen that with the likes of David Ospina, Matt Turner, who've come in and not necessarily been at the top of their game when they're called upon to play the odd match here and there. Um, What I would say is Aaron Ramsdale has been a massive part of this rebuild at Arsenal. On the pitch, he's had great moments, great games, but off the pitch as well. He is one of the big figures in that dressing room. He is a real kind of lieutenant to Mikel Arteta. They are very close. They have a very good relationship. Um, So I don't think he'd be rolling over or anything like it just because another top goalkeeper is coming in. In fact, I think he's the sort of personality who would relish that battle. And I think as fans, you know, it's potentially quite exciting to think we'll have these two players at the top of their game pushing each other on, driving each other on. You know, maybe there's an argument that with... Somebody who's so stylistically different, although a very good goalkeeper in his own right, as Matt Turner sitting behind him, perhaps you know Ramsdale might have felt very comfortable in that number one spot. And maybe Mikel Arteta says, I don't want anyone in this squad to feel comfortable. I don't want Ben White to feel comfortable at right back. So I'm going to bring in Jurian Timber. I don't want uh, you know anyone to feel comfortable at centre-half. So we're going to have Timber available there. I don't want Thomas Partey to be comfortable in midfield. Let's have Jorginho. Let's have Declan Rice. Um, you know, Emil Smith Rowe, maybe too comfortable. Let's bring in Trossard. Let's bring in Kai Havertz. Let's create competition all over the place. You can't fault the ambition. You can't fault the ruthlessness. It's just that this position, it doesn't tend to work competition in the long term. All the big clubs ultimately always revert to a clear hierarchy. Um, and I don't see either of these goalkeepers being happy with being a number two. So, Let's see. We hear Arsenal is Raya's preference, but I think there are pieces to move. There's a lot to happen before this deal can be done. Arsenal need money. They need one of their goalkeepers, Matt Turner, almost certainly to go. Until those dominoes fall, I think we are talking about interest rather than something imminent. But it's going to be really fascinating, and I'm curious to see what people make of it. Um, We'll keep following it, we'll keep tracking it, we'll keep talking about it. Thanks for watching as ever. Do like, do subscribe. You might have heard Rocky. Uh, he's been very good. He's been spinning his bouncer next to me. Um, you've been exceptionally good. I daren't expose you to YouTube. It's a cruel, cruel place. You're too young for that. But what a good boy he's been. Um, I'll chat to you all soon. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. Let's do this, guys. Bye.